Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out a very old and rare antique mousetrap. I was so excited when I saw this for sale because I've never seen it before and I reached out to several collectors and they say they've seen pictures of it but they haven't seen one in person. So it's a very uncommon trap and I'm curious if it actually works. It's made out of solid metal, has a teeter-totter mechanism inside with a divider and a holding chamber in back. Now I don't know much about this trap except what's written on top on the label. The yellow label says the better mousetrap, Langley and Stewart, and it has an address there in California. The way it works is the mouse will enter and step on a teeter-totter mechanism. And when it does, it's trapped. It can't get back out the way it came, so it has to go in the second back holding chamber. When it steps in there, the weight of the teeter-totter will reset and you can catch another mouse. But I'm kind of concerned because it's not very big. I don't know how well this is going to work. It's very old and it's slightly rusty, but it might catch mice. First, we'll test it out with our pet mice, see if they go in there and get caught. And then we're going to set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch a wild mouse. Okay, mouse, show us how this trap works. It steps on the back of the teeter-totter, it goes down, the mouse moves in the second chamber, and then it resets itself. Now it's trying to escape out the back. It worked well with our pet mice, but can we catch the wild mice? Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see what happens. Well, last night we caught a mouse with our antique The Better mouse trap. It worked well. The mouse went in there, went on the teeter-totter, and now it's stuck in the back chamber. What we caught is a non-native invasive species known as a house mouse, so I can't let it go. Instead, we're going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, that raccoon enjoyed the mouse we caught with the better mousetrap. For being an antique, rusty piece of metal, it worked well. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. 